Hey, who told you he was mad at you, though? That's what I want to know. Right? Okay, let's say you, you did go your own way. You told God, I didn't want nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? You told God, I... I Look, I don't, I don't feel like praying. I don't feel like following your rules. I want to go party, Lord. I, I like drinking. I like smoking. I like the, you know, I'm just not ready for this life. You know what I'm saying? And I know you're real, God, but I, I just want to go do, I just want to go indulge in the things that, that make me happy. Let's say you went that way, right? Let's say you spent a month there, right? Maybe a, a year there. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're a week there, wherever you're at right now. Maybe you're one that walked away from God right now. So you're there, right? You, you've been smoking. You've been drinking. Indulging in, 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 in sex You know, you're not married Probably went back to hustling, man You're in the clubs, fish fights You know, you're listening to the music you want to listen to You're watching the things you want to watch And inside though Because you know God's real You tasted that God is good And the friends you're around They want nothing to do with God You know, but inside, something inside you Like, man like, You know you're letting someone down, right? You ever love somebody so much And you're like, man, I let them down so you know you feel like you're letting somebody down, right? Let's say you have the, the one of the most awful times of the day. It's just not what you planned it to be. You know, it's been a year. You thought you were gonna enjoy it, you know, but you're not happy. You're empty. You know, I don't care how many times you party, how many blunts you smoke, how many women you slept with, how many boyfriends you got, I don't care how much money you got, you feel empty right now. And life is crumbling, man. The people that you love, the, the fellowship you used to have with the brothers, you know, and that peace you used to have after you pray, you know, you don't talk to God. And you feel like, man, he don't want to talk to me, man. You know, I remember telling him I was going to follow him. I asked, I asked him that. I told him I'd give him my life and I, and I walked away from him. You know, you ever been there? I have many times. You're like, why would God love me? You know, he probably hates me. You know what I'm saying? But that's actually... Not accurate or nor true because the father does love you. I want to share a story with you, man. You probably heard it before, the prodigal. I just want to read it with you. Is that cool? Can I read it with you? It says the parable of the prodigal, man. We're in Luke 15. If you want to get your Bibles, get it. I don't want to share a story because there's somebody out there right now that think God is mad at him. And he's not mad at you at all. Check it out now. There's a son, right? There's a son who says, you know what? God, my, he tells his dad, I want what belongs to me. I'm ready to go. And the father says, here, I'm going to give it to you. You know, the younger son, he, he, he got everything together. He went to a distant country. He squandered his wealth in the, in the wild living. After he spent all that he had, after he did everything that he wanted to do, after you did everything that you wanted to do, a severe famine swept through that country and he began to be in need. You're in a place where you're in need, where the land that you're in, the, the house that you're in, the relationship that you're in, the feelings that you're in, you're in need. There is a famine going on in your soul. You feel dry. You feel lost. You done did everything you wanted to do. You told God, look, I'm going my way. And right now, you done smoked all the blunts, but you're not even getting high no more. You're drinking and you're not even getting drunk no more. You're disgusted with yourself. You're in a place where you feel hungry. And even though you might be eating physical food, inside you're feeling hungry for something real. You're feeling hungry for the food that your soul used to eat, the bread of life you used to eat, that water you used to drink. So you're in a place right now where you need God. Listen to this. This says he longed to fill his belly with the with the with the food that the pigs were eating because he didn't even have money to feed himself. You don't even have the tools you need to feed yourself right now. And you're like you're settling for less really. You're settling for less. Listen to this though. It says that he came back to his senses. It says that when you come back to your senses and you remember all the good things that your father has for you that the people your father feed, that the people your father take care of, he comes back to his senses and says, man, if I could just go back, man, my dad's help eats better than this. Man, my God's people do better than this, man. These people here, they're talking about suicide, death. I'm involved in all kinds of stuff in the midst, relationships that are falling apart. Man, God has something better for me than this, right? So it says, so he comes back. Listen to this. I love this part. It says that he comes back. He says, I'm going to go and repent. Some of you are saying, I got to make peace with God. It says, I'll tell my father, I have sinned against heaven and against you, and I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants, God. It says he got up. 
He got off from the miss. He got off from that pig pen. You get off from that pig pen you in right now. You get you get off from that relationship that's not a god right now. You get off from that from that club, that that liquor, that music, that anger, that jealousy that you don't belong in. That pen, that swine. You get off from that right now, and you make your way to the Father right now. Wherever you at, you're in a, you you're grinding in the car. You're watching it on your phone. Turn off the TV right now. You can turn this off right now if you want. But you need to get off from where you at right now, and you need to start walking. Bend your kneecaps. Come I'm home to the Father. Listen to this. This is for you. You think God's mad at you and he's not. Check it out. Father, I, it says that he went up and back to the Father. He said to him, Father, I sinned against you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your servants. It says while he was still in the dis distance walking, it says that the Father saw him. Before you bend your kneecaps tonight, before you even spit out the words and say, I sinned against you, it says that the Father seen you. And when the Father sees you, listen to this. It says that the Father already has the robe. He already has the ring. He already has the love for you. He's walking to you. It says that the Father came to the Son. Listen to this. While he was still in the distance, the Father saw him and was filled with compassion, was filled with mercy. He ran to his Son. He just didn't walk to you and say, mm -hmm, you in trouble. Yeah, now you come back home. It says that he ran to you. He ran to you, sis. He ran to you, bro. He ran to you, mama. And he met you right there in the midst of that. It says, look, it says, listen to this. He embraced him and kissed him. The son declared, Father, look, he already hugged him. And then the son says, after he hugged him, after you ain't even said, I'm sorry, and God already hugged you and kissed you and embraced you with compassion. It says, the son says, Father, I sinned against you. It says, I sinned against heaven and against you, and I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. It says, the father said to the servant, he says, let me just, let me just be one of, let me just be one of your servants. I'm not even fit to be called. The father says, nonsense. You don't have to work for my love. Nonsense. You don't have to, you don't have to earn my love. You are my son. You are my daughter. You came home. I've been waiting to restore this more than you wanted. And you will be restored right now in the name of Jesus. By you stepping forward and saying, God, I need you. God says, you don't have to work for my love, man. It don't take a six month program for my love. All it takes is you commit, confessing, repenting. You see, grace speaks with truth. But grace without repentance, it's not grace. It has to have mercy that brings true repentance. When you know you're in the arms of something good. When you know you're loved by someone good and you say, God, I need you right now because you, you feel his goodness. And while you feel his goodness, something inside you said, I don't want to be that son, that daughter who leaves. I don't want to be that person who walked away from you ever again. God, forgive me. It says the father said, he told, he says, quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let us feast and celebrate. God's already happy about you coming back. He ain't talking about just you, you go up to your room. God said, no, you put the finest things in his life. You put the peace back in his life. You put authority back in his life. He belongs in my family. This is his inheritance. He said, let us celebrate. And then you have that one brother, man. You had that one brother, man, who, that one church person. That one religious person who's been doing good, following tithing, you've been praying, you've been doing everything. But now you're watching other people be blessed and come back to God. Yeah, there was a brother who was struggling with adultery. Yeah, there was a brother who was struggling with dope. Yeah, there was a brother who was talking and backbiting. But he came to his senses. She came to her senses. And she comes back. And they repent. It says that God, God restored him. Why can't you? It says he goes out there and he tells the father, man, what are you doing? He says, man, all these years I served you. I've been praying, I've been in church, I've been doing all this. This is how the brother does. He says, you never even gave me a young goat that I could celebrate with my friends, Father. It says, man, what about me, God? Don't you want to bless me? I've been doing all this. It says that the, that the father said, son, you are always with me. And all that is mine is yours. But it was fitting to celebrate and be glad because this brother of yours was dead and now he's alive. He was lost and now he's found. Some of you right now are lost. But when you come back to God and you repent... You become found in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we worship? Month of October, with a nice feel like they're colder. Found out another victim just got bitten by the cobra. Still looking for some closure. Still trying to make some sense of it. Emotions could get sensitive when family and friends. I learned revenge could be sweet when you get the taste in it. But in the end, it tastes bitter, you get the hate in it. And plus it leads a sour feeling in your stomach And who am I to say when another human should be punished? I'm not approving of the crime that been committed Crying in the courtroom when the killer gets acquitted Help me Jesus to be righteous and not wicked And purify this heart of mine and fill me with forgiveness 
And whether you murdering or you doing the murdering If you ain't accepted Jesus, it's a pit that you'll be burning in God sent his only son to save us from destruction Open both your Bibles and follow basic instructions You know running from and he's saying come home god loves you man he's not mad at you man the father's heart is for you to be righteous man i don't know who this is for right now if you only knew what the father wants for you it's for you to be made right with god right now it's for you to pursue his ways and not your own it's for you to say no to yourself and say yes to jesus this is what god desires of you you say god what do you want from me he said, I want you to be made right. That's why he had his son come down. He who had no sin became sin to make us right with the Father and the righteousness of Jesus by him being crucified on the cross, by you believing in the blood that was shed and set you free, by you believing and turning from wickedness, by you repenting, turning from what is evil, having to change your mind, having to change your heart like the prodigal son coming to your senses today and saying, God, I sinned against you. God, I've done what is wrong. I want to come home, Father. I want to come home in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, come on now. You know everything that I say. Hair on my head. My God's good, man. He knows what you're doing before you even do it. I don't know who this is for. I, I, I pray for you and I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray right now that you come to your senses. I pray right now that God just touches you in your living room, in your cell phone. I pray that an anointing invades your, 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 your mind, an anointing invades your heart, that the yoke will be broken with the blood of Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit, that you will say, you know what, I have been doing it the wrong way. I took in my inheritance, God, and I went to a place where there's famine. I'm in a place where there's emptiness. I'm in a place where there's depression, but I'm coming back to my senses to come home to you. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, whoever that is, God, I pray right now that they truly make a commitment to follow you in your ways, Father God. I pray right now that they know that if they confess, Father, you're faithful to forgive, Lord. Yes, we fall down, but we get right back up because we can boldly come through the throne of grace, knowing that we have an advocate, knowing that Jesus speaks on our behalf. I thank you for the blood that cleanses us, Lord. Let our heart have a fear for the things that hate that you hate. Let us have a heart, Father God, to love the things that you love. Let us seek and find out what pleases you, God. Speak the things that please you. Think the things that please you. Act in a way that please you. An attitude that please you, God. Let it be holy in thy sight because you are a holy God. And you deserve uh, someone to worship you in spirit and in truth, Father God. I thank you for the mercy and the grace and the refreshment right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bless him, Lord. God's not mad at you. He's madly in love with you, man. God's not mad at you. He's mad about you, man. Tell that devil quit lying to you, man. Straight up. No more blunts. No more drinking. Turn from what is wicked. 
So turn from turn from the things that pollute your mind and keep you unbalanced and, and cloudy. Quit listening to the to the voice of doubt. Quit listening to the voice of distraction. Quit listening to the voices that want to put you in a cell, in a casket, in a penitentiary. Put you in a place where no one, man, say to the devil, I don't need your help. I don't need your counsel. I have a father that loves me. My fa- my, my my brothers and sisters in Christ, they have peace over there. They might not have all the money in the world, but they have peace that surpasses all understanding. They have peace that the streets can't give me. Peace that the money can't buy you. Peace that them drugs can't provide for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come to your senses, bro. Come to your senses, sis. In Jesus' name, I pray you just get up right now and make an altar where you're at. You turn off this live feed, man, and you you just cry out to God and say, I'm coming to my senses right now. I'm coming to my senses like the prodigal right now. Father God, I want to be home. I want to be right with you. I want to seek. I want to think the things that please you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Yo. Love you guys, man. Late night encouragement. Edify the body. Knocking down every idol. Starting with self, man. Knocking down every idol, man. We encourage growth. Pursue holiness, man. Ain't nothing wrong with repenting and turning from what's evil, man. God loves you. He love every single one of you, man. Shout out to my brother, Bobby Phoenix. Boy, I love you, man. All my KMF brothers. Shout out to Melvin. What's up, Melvin? I love you, brother. In the mighty name of Jesus, man. You deserve to be set free. Look at your family and say, man, my, my, dog, my kids deserve to be set free. I can't give them freedom if I don't have freedom from Christ within me. Let me come back to my senses, man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hashtag that, come back to my senses. Share this with somebody that needs to come back to their senses. Tell them who's mad at you. God ain't mad at you. He's mad about you, man. Let's get that right. Amen. Yo.